Hi, one way to create a new project is to derive it from an existing project. So, in this video, I will show you how to create a new project. In this case, we're going to base it on Cystic. So, the first step is to make a copy of the directory. Copy, paste. Okay, so I just created this copy. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, whatever name you want to give it, that's fine. Uh, the next step, where'd it go? There it is. The next step is to change the name of these two files. Okay, so I'm just going to call it an example, but you can give it anything that makes sense, anything that remi reminds you what it's for. Okay. Look at that one and this one. These are the two files that that uh, represent the project. So I just created, uh, renamed those two files. You saw that? These two files here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, <clears throat> one of the first steps I'd like to do when I create a, uh, a new project is to clean the old stuff off. So I'll clean it. Okay. That gets rid of the uh, output files. The next step is to make a couple of changes. So here in the output tag, I will make this, uh, call this whatever I want. This will be the name of the executable. Uh, over here in this one, I can give the name of the project. Okay. Now they don't all have to be the same, but I'm going to change it. Uh, so I've just made two changes. I will build it to make sure that it still builds, and I will clean it. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to change some names of some files. Okay, so this test main, I'm going to rename this test main to be example. Okay, and I'll do a save as. So for any file that you'd like to change the, uh, the name of it, you do that. So I've changed the name of the file. Okay. Uh, now I got to rebuild the source code. I get rid of the old one, delete that one, and add the one that I just made. Add existing files. Example main right there. Add. Okay, close. Uh, again, after I make a, a change, I'll make sure it still compiles. It builds. Uh, and assuming I'm done with changing the names, the next step is to clean up all the junk I don't need. So I'll, I will clean. I go back to the, to the example file, and then I look for files that I don't need anymore. Okay. Uh, I don't need this one anymore. I don't need that one anymore. Because they're the old cystic test main. So I delete those. Uh, this is uh, the old... Um, file from the old project name. I don't need that. Uh, these are the old examples. I don't need that. Okay. All right. Um, again, to, there's a halfway through. That one, cystic, I don't need. Oops, okay. Open it back up. Make sure it compiles again, uh, just to make sure I didn't throw away too much stuff build again. There we go, and then we debug. Uh, as you can see, I didn't change any of the code. Change the logic analyzer. Set up. Okay, it's already got something there. Okay, run. There we go. Still runs, just like it did before. All right. Uh, that's how to create a new project based on an old project. Again, the first step was to make a copy of the directory. The stec second step was to change these two files to the new project name. Inside of the project, I went to the options and I changed the output target right there, the output file. And then in this one here, the file extensions, uh, I changed the, uh, the name of the project target. Uh, then for each of the files I wanted to change the name of, I changed its name uh, and then added it and rebuilt the directory as needed. Uh, so that's how it works. That allows you to use starter code to create new projects based on the old ones.